Hello and welcome to some Hearts of Iron 4. Today we're going to be playing in the 1st of January 1936 start with all up to date DLC. And I want to play as France. Now, the reason I want to play as France is because we want some communism in Europe. And we want to defeat Germany. The uh, the main goal here is just to defeat Germany, not no world dominance or anything like that. We're playing in regular Iron Man mode without historical air focus. We want to see what the AI gets up to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Iron Man France, number one. Now this is the first campaign with my new PC setup, so I'm hoping it will go very smoothly. Oh, terrific. Now let's first get all these armies together here. we got f 53 divisions, eh? Let's uh, scatter you out a bit more. 14, 14, 26. Let's put these uh, 26 divisions here. Now, is there a general who can take 26 divisions? There is not. We'll give you to, however, Jean de Latrie de Tassigny. I've lived in Canada for a while, but I still am sure that my French pronunciations are terrible. All mountaineers and all vehicles over to here. So we want uh, your vehicles. Yes, you. Over to here. We want any mountaineers you have. You. And uh, we'll take these uh, individuals as well. We'll dump you all over here. We need two more. Ah, oh, you are still here. We'll take you and uh, you, sure. we we'll put you over here. So your job is to watch this here border. We're going to give you the offensive line to take into Germany. That's wonderful place of Germany. Yes, we, uh, we wish to uh, do better than Napoleon did. Maybe go a bit further. We'll see. We'll see where the glory of France takes us. As for this army here, we're going to put you on the Belgian border for now. We're going to give you the uh, Alphonse Chouin will uh, lead that army there. We'll give you an extra division if we can find any that I want. There are a fair few troops over Africa. They're probably uh, better off staying in Africa. So we'll leave all of those individuals there. As for this other army, your job is the Italian front. So go ahead and enjoy that. 16 divisions under the control of uh, Philippe. Leclerc, you can take over this particular area. I wouldn't mind some more divisions there, but we'll uh, let's give Africa an army. Right, how many men do we have here? You have 14 divisions. Excellent. We'll give you to Charles de Gaulle, and we're going to put you in a new theatre. This here will be French theatre too, or Africa theatre. Uh, all of you three, can we put you under a new gentleman here? We'll give you to. Uh, who has a fence? You have the most offense, Maxime Weigard, so we'll put you in charge of this particular force. This army here does have some automation. Maybe we'll give all of you to the other line here. And you do have a mountaineer. So move those over as well. Move you three, plus the horse, over to this line here. And we'll take four of your infantry over to the Belgian army. And then we'll take your mountaineer over to here. And we'll... What, I know Belgium can do with just uh, that many. We'll give the Italians another one, though. Where have we got someone else? The Syrian forces? Yeah, we'll give the uh, Syrian forces to the Italian army. Syria, if I click off here, isn't too important for me to look after. There's no massive resources or factories, so we'll just uh, probably leave it, mostly. We do have places like Madagascar. It would be nice to protect. We don't have a lot of uh, minor position. So we're going to put you over here under control of uh, Charles Hunsinger. And Charles Hunsinger, your position is to garrison Africa. The important parts of Africa, so the coasts, lines around, no, not there. Here, here, and here. We're going to get you to protect these coasts with whatever... Af he wants 27 divisions. We want you to just take the, uh, the coast there. So he wants 24 divisions, which is how many he can carry. So we'll give him whatever we can find around around Africa, which isn't going to be anywhere near that many, but he can do what he wants. So as for Vietnam, oh, there is a bit of rubber here, and we do need rubber, rubber and ooh, some other good resources. So we'll give you guys uh, a new position as well. Henry Giraud will get you to garrison Vietnam, please. 40 divisions required, well that is not going to happen. That's all of my forces. Anyway, let's uh, go to free civilian factories. I have consumer goods. How many military factories do we have? 
six. Okay, so I would like some more, and I would like them around this region here. Loire, and we want some civilian factories as well. So we'll go ahead and build as many of these as we can. In fact, I want one there, and I want this to be built first. And I want this to be built first as well. Then we can go on to the military ones. We'll have the extra ones going on to these here positions. So good civilian factories will be terrific. Research lots available. We'd like to learn about this. We'd also like to learn about the development industry. So we'll go for basic machine tools. And we'll go for construction level 1. As for this, we are going to go down infrastructure, infrastructure, defensive focus. Government reform. Right, let's get over here. Yes, we're going to go down government reform. Now, government needs to be reformed, so we shall do it. We have many navies around here, so we're going to. Uh, I'm going to go into naval mode. We're going to select. Wait, get out of here. We're going to select all of these. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Navy. What do you mean, no? Oh, is it this one down here? Is this what I was looking for? Yes, it was. Excellent. So we want all of these guys to uh, to merge. All of you to merge. I want one big strong navy led by Francois Dallon. And we want him to... Uh, if you're French and pulling your hair out over my pronunciations, I, uh, I apologize. I do know you have a very old and respect language. I've only been in Eastern Canada a little bit and most of the people here aren't, don't speak French. So I, I, I have limited exposure. But we are going to go for convoy raiding around France. And northern Germany here. We want to convoy raid around this particular area. We want all of you. All of you to convoy raid. Around here as well and around here. We want you to take over all of this this area. And then we want the other fleets to uh, just take over the Mediterranean. So we go for you three here. I want you to all merge. You already are merged. I want you to merge anyway, and you'll be under command of Jean-Marie Charles Abriol. And we want you to convoy raid around this area, just here. No, 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 here as well. Oh, we may as well do the whole Mediterranean. And we have you. Where, where are you? Okay, well, I want you to join in here. Yes, please do. Excellent. Now, we're going to go to production. I have ships. We'll uh, ignore all of you for now. You're doing relatively well on your own. We have ships. We want to try and get a lot of these out. We want you to join more of the... Uh, which name was it? The purple one. Yes. Could you join the purple one? Go for go for these guys with him. You could go for these guys. We'll make everything max. It just uh, means they'll get through faster. Everything here, I want to go to the purple army, uh, navy. So we're going to just put them all into generic... Well, not generic, but random random uh, purple navies here. All of you, please to uh, get around. There's probably a better way of doing this, but uh, this will do for me right now. Just want to get uh, some stuff lined up to join. Maybe I shouldn't put them all on the strongest navy. Let's put them on some of the smaller ones, get them uh, looked after. But once all these guys who are already partly processed are finished, I would like to go you boats all the way. Not you, oh, submarines. I forget what they're called when they're not German. Just submarines. So let's go ahead and get a load of these guys going around raiding our dearest of foes. On the smaller flotillas is where they'll be good. This won't take terribly long. We'll get this out of the way. Oh yes, yeah, plenty of you going about, isn't there? No, not that one. Uh, number three here. You guys, number two. And we have that other number to the top there. You can have two of these. Excellent. So that is all of that out of the way. As for these extra factories, I would like some guns. I'd like up to ten of you. Four of you. Everything else can stay where it is for now. Ah, Citroën, of course. You're French, aren't you? Construction is uh, doing what it does. You're doing what you do. Everything over here is uh, whatever. Poor propaganda. We don't care about that. Withdraw from the naval treaties. Not too caring for that. Political actions, we'll leave where it is for now, and then we have all of this nonsense we'll uh, get rid of. Realize European unity. No, let's not. Let's not. 
Anyway, that is the start. No, wait, 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 wait. We got planes, haven't we? Uh, you're the uh, flying, uh, not flying, f floating ones. I've got all these here planes. I want all of you to. Okay. All of you, I would like to join in on. Uh, how can we. All of you join. Join in the Italian army, would you? Except for you, of course. I want you to do air superiority, close air support, and interception. No more, not strategic bombing so much. We want to select everyone again. We want to uh, ignore those guys, which is you and you and you. I want you guys to join here on the s on the uh, German line to do the exact same things. Terrific. They'll do what they need to do when the time comes. But the game is now unpaused, so let's go full speed ahead. There's no need to wait around terribly much. Fuel. Of course, we'll uh, tell our ships to not do anything for now, actually. Hold and hold. We don't need to be spending all of our fuel. Current fuel we should be trying to build up. We'll let the planes do whatever they want to, though. As for resources, we could maybe try and stock up. We have a fuel capacity of 261,000. That's not terribly much. We're going to need more. I also would like to... Build fort levels around here. I would like to do that, and I would like to do the same along this here border. Very good. Let's make them all to level 3. It should take that long to build them. I should maybe even put them towards the top. Try and uh, storm through them relatively fast. It wouldn't take that long. It wouldn't. It really would not. Okay, let's do that. So let's get these... Uh, out of the way pretty fast. We'll make France into a fortress. We will put you back up to the top because I want you built nice and fast. Both of you, in fact. I want these two ready and we'll go through these as soon as we can. This is a beautiful game. It's nice to be able to scroll without any sort of lag. Right, military. You have plans to just go balls the walls through there. You guys, could we have a offensive line through Belgium, please? Very good. And you guys, you're more of a just let's hold this position. Although we could set your marker to take this sort of region. Because it might eventually be necessary. Excellent. I hope that did not affect my microphone when I turned it off and on for a second. Just had to do some breathing every so often. That, uh, that does occur. The need to breathe. Fortress France, eh? Let's see what we can do. I did a very good France, uh, Fortress France in a multiplayer game where I had quite the stalemates with the German player until I tried to help the other players in the game, which was my downfall. Everyone else wasn't up to my standard, so I had to go out my way to help them a bit, and I did lose a fair few men, and this really did weaken my, uh, my lines. There is a Spanish border. We won't worry about them just yet. Ah, government reform has been had. Let's move ahead. Revise Vasalis allows us to go towards this area. We will do that. We will revise Vasalis. Vasale, Vasalis, whatever it is. There's a game named after it. Europe Universalis. Maybe not named after it. <laughs> the, uh, the Treaty of Vasalis was named after the Fortress of Universalis, right? Something like that. Anyway, now she's Spain and the other Spain. The Spains are fighting each other, so good for them. We'll uh, leave them to it. Maybe it would have been better to wait until the new DLC came out to play France, but I just really want to play France right now. Another campaign I want to do is I want to play as Australia. I want to play as Australia. Perhaps fascist, get away from the British Empire and create my own little uh, Reich around this area. We'll look into that at some point soon. After this one, perhaps, we'll uh, get involved there. If there's any other campaigns that you think uh, would fit me nicely, go ahead and let me know. As for this, what do we have? Factory strikes, stability minus 10, war support minus 10, factory output minus 90. Or we negotiate a deal. Changing communism goes plus 7. Output goes down, but communism goes up. Black shirts organised in the United Kingdom. Under the leadership of Oswald Mosley, the British Union of Fascists has begun an organised campaign of marches across the country thus seeking to grow the number of fascist supporters throughout the United Kingdom. If you haven't heard of Oswald Mosley, look him up on YouTube. He's, he's good at speaking, whether or not you agree with the man. He, he uh, puts across his points very clearly, so it's easier to understand what these uh, type of individuals are about. People like Hitler, he's a bit uh, erratic, whereas uh, Oswald's a bit more calmer. 
But it looks like the uh, the British might be going towards a bit of fascism. They might be liking the idea of the old Adolf over here. What's Poland up to? Militarism, and you guys are going for the Great Purge. Interesting. We'll uh, leave all them to it as we go forth with our support of communism. Anti-communist raids, ban fascism. We could just straight up ban fascism. Or we could give refuge to scientists. Billy goes down, but research speed goes up. I like the idea of research speed. We could get in some Italians, but no, I want to switch to communist as soon as I dare. So we're going to save up, and we are going to get the uh, the individual to help us out here, the propagandist. Who is it? Uh, Demo Com communist revolutionary has completely left his rhetoric, so we can't do that just yet. Basic machine tools, uh, some gun, and second London Naval Treaty signed. Election, communism and government. Oof, rather reform than uh, revolution. Or bra broad coalition. Change. No, we want to uh, have popularity of communism. So we're going to do that. Excellent. So we are getting quite close. I might not even need to do anything. I might just be able to go uh, support the left here. So I would be able to spend my points elsewhere. What I would like is the economy. Mobilization so I get more of these uh, factories. Fuel gain per oil will be better as well, which we do always want. But for research, let's go for dispersed, I think, is what I want. And then we want to go with, oh, maybe not yet, on the production efficiency cap. Synthetic refinery, or we get fuel per gain. What do we have here? Electronic engineering. Let's go for it. Also, we do have decisions available. Maybe we should go for some scientists. Let's take in some Italians. Not the Germans, but the Italians. We'll give them some refuge, shall we? What are you doing now, Uncle Adolf? Still on the Autarchy. Interesting. So, all of these armies. Where did your troops end up? Just around the major cities here. Uh, your individuals, you are here, and not in terribly many other places. And we have you doing whatever you do around here. Oh no, I didn't actually give you orders. Ah. Well, I would like you to garrison the entirety of this particular area, if you sh if you can. Mainly the coast and the forts. So let's uh, knock off these sort of things. I want you to guard forts and coasts. How's the production going with the fortresses? Oh, we're starting. Starting very fast. I would like three more along here. If we could. Now will tell them to go and occupy the uh, area. So we, we want this first, of course. Just level once. Nothing too fancy. Just keeps those Italians out the way. I will ha uh, support the uh, fellow... Uh, socialists over here as well. I'm not sure exactly how I will. And as for this, we're going to support the left. Daily communism support for a very long time is what we will go for. After that, Republican intervention in civil war. What's game? Republican intervention opinion. Uh, can send volunteers. Excellent. Yes, we'll go for that, I believe. Join Comintern or... Uh cannot just simply create a faction. Is there something in the way of that? If I were to create a faction, I require what? You cannot create factions without having a natural spirit to do so. Okay. So what is a natural spirit? Is it this? Humanity... Un, un, uni? United Humanity, I'm going to assume that says. US Congress passes Neutrality Act. Very good for people like us who want to liberate Europe. Right, Chef Barn, good for you. Do whatever you do, and you're doing whatever you do. Anyway, that'll do for this first episode. I hope uh, this series is something that interests you. We are going to make France great again. I have an idea for an outlay of an empire I want to create. I don't just want to destroy Germany. Destroying Germany is the main goal here. We also want to create a greater France, and uh, there are many regions that could potentially belong to that greater France. Isn't that right, Sardinia? And I'll do. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, if you want to support the channel further, there is a Discord server down below. There's also a Patreon link. But important as well is leaving comments telling me what you think of the series, what you think I can improve on. But yes, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching again. Goodbye.